and welcome to lesson 6 point, sorry, 5.6. In this lesson, we're going to be doing what's called adding fractions. These fractions are now going to be in what we refer to as mixed form. So before we can continue and show you this, we're going to be doing some conversions. To, um, to, to, to explain why we're doing it this method um, is that there are, there are two ways to add fractions when you're adding mixed numbers. One would be to take a fraction like 2 and a third and 4 and 3 eighths and you subtract them and you would find, sorry, add them, you take the 2 and the 4 off, you can add them on this side and that gives you 6 and then you add these two on the other side and then when you're done, you put the two answers back together. That's the, one of the methods you could use to add fractions. There is a problem though later on when we do subtracting because when you do subtracting, the first thing you have to be able to tell me is which fractions are greater because if the first fraction is less than the second one, you have to borrow. And that gets complicated. So what I've decided to do this year is to have you convert everything to mixed, from mixed form into improper form. And then once it's all in improper form, then you just add or subtract using your cross multiplication that we've taught you and then put it back into mixed form. So you don't have to learn any new methods. You can just use what you've learned. So let's take a look at some of the stuff we have to review first. First off, we have to take a look at how to get three and a quarter into improper form. To do that, we take the whole the, 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 the denominator, which is the four, and I'll put den for that. You multiply it by the whole number. I'll put wn for that, and then you add the numerator. Now, this is not new to you. You've done this before. That is all over the denominator. So numerically, that is four times three plus one, all over four. Four times three is twelve plus one. That's thirteen quarters. Okay, there's two more. You try those. Pause the recording. When you're ready to continue, press play. So you should have 7 times 5 plus 4, and that is all over 7. So 7 times 5 is 35 plus 4, that's 39 sevenths. 3 times 4 plus 1 over 3, that's 13 thirds. Now the next way you have to do is to go backwards. So to do that, we get 12 over 5, and we want to know how many times does 5 go into 12 and what's left over. The number of times that 5 goes into 12 is your whole number. So 5 goes into 12 two whole times, and that's a 10, 2 times 5 being 10. When you subtract it, you have 2 left over, that's your remainder. Since a fraction is part of a whole, and this is the part you have left over, the part goes up here for the remainder, and we are working in fifths, so that's 2 and 2 fifths. Your calculator will do both of these conversions for you, but you still have to be uh, responsible for knowing how it's done. During calculations inside questions, you'll be able to use your calculator to do it, but if I ask you specifically to do it on a test or a quiz, you will have to show me these methods to do it. The next thing is reducing your fractions. So we have 6 over 14. You need to find a common factor of 6 and 14 and divide both the denominator and the numerator by that number. Since 6 and 14 are both even, we can use 2. If 2 goes into even numbers. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 14 divided by 2 is 7. Now, there are no other numbers besides 1 that go into both 3 and 7, so we're done. Now, 12 over 36, a little bit more complicated. If you can't see a big number, choose a small number. And you can keep going using stepping down, like we taught you last in grade 6, until you get to a number that you can't find a common factor for besides 1. So take a look at 12 and 36. They're both even, so I can use 2. 12 divided by 2 is 6. 36 divided by 2 is 18. And now I recognize that 3 goes into both of these. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 18 divided by 3 is 6. And I can still divide by 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Now if you recognize that a larger number will go in, you can shorten up this process. So I also can notice that 12 and 36 are both divisible by 12s. 12 divided by 12 is 1. 36 divided by 12 is 3. So the larger the number you can find, the faster the process. And again, your calculator will do this, but when I ask you on a test to show me how to do it exactly, I am expect you to show me this method. Otherwise, use your ABC button. Okay, so now that we know how to do that, let's go back and do a quick review of adding fractions. We're going to stick with the cross multiplication method. Find lowest common multiple by multiplication. So 3 times 8 is equal to 24. So we know that my denominator is going to be a 24. Now, cross multiply 1 times 8. 
3 times 3, and of course 8 plus 9 over 24, 8 plus 9 being 17, and we keep our denominator. This particular fraction does not reduce, so the sum is 17 over 24. And of course that's review for you, so that should be no problem. Now, when we get to mixed fractions, our first thing is to go back and convert both of them to improper. And then, once I've got them in improper form, then I'm going to add them by using cross multiplication. So, 3 and 3 quarters has to be converted to an improper form. So, 3, 4 times 3 is 12, 12 and 3 is 15, so this becomes 15 quarters. 3 times 7 is 21, and 21 plus 2 is 23, so I have 23 thirds here. So the next step is now to find my common denominator, which is 12 times, sorry, 4 times 3. So 4 times 3, let's go grab my notes here. 4 times 3, that's 12, plus 12. And now I've got bigger numbers to multiply. This is where you have an advantage. You can take and use your calculator. 15 times 3 being 45, and 4 times 23 being 92. Remember, order is important. The 45 must be over the 4. The not, sorry, must come from the first fraction here from the 4. And multiply by 3 here. So that's why the 15 times 3 is 45. Over here, the 3 times the 4 is 12. That means 23 times 4 is 92. So it's very important that you keep this order correct because order is important when we subtract. So it is not 92 over 12 plus 45 over 12. So now we can add the 45 plus 92. And that's over 12, and of course 45 plus 92 is 137, and that's over 12. Now, we started with mixed fractions, so the answer is going to go back into mixed fractions. 137 over 12, you can use your ABC button for that. That's 11 and 5 twelfths. So your answer is right there. The sum of 3 and 3 quarters plus 7 and 2 thirds is 11 and 5 twelfths. The next one, Bob has eaten two and three-fifth pizzas, and his wife Marge has eaten five and two-sevenths pizzas. How much pizza have they eaten? This is an addition question. Because it's a word problem, you'd have to set up your addition question. We'd get a mark for that in this case because it would not normally have been given to you. But because this lesson is on the adding, it's pretty obvious we're going to be adding these two fractions. Now, two and three-fifths, I want you to take a second, and I want you to convert those both to improper fractions. So pause the recording and do that right now. Okay, you should have come up with 13 over 5 plus 37 over 7. Your common denominator, 5 times 7 is 35. 13 times 7 means on the left-hand side you have 91. 37 times 5 means on the right-hand side you have 185. That gives me 91 plus 185 all over 35. And of course, 91 plus 185 gives you 276 over 35, which reduces using, using your ABC button, 7 and 31 over 35. So you'd have to have a sentence because it's a word problem. So they have eaten 7 and 31, 35th pizzas together. Okay, turn the page. Okay, you're on your own for this one. So pause the recording and add these two fractions. Okay, so our first goal is to find a mixed fraction. Sorry, uh, come yeah, to invert them both the improper fractions. So 2 and 5 eighths, 8 times 2 is 16, plus 5 gives us 21 over 8, plus 5 times 3 is 15, plus 2, that's 17 over 5. So now that I have my improper fractions, I'm going to do my cross multiply. My common denominator is going to be 40. 21 times 5 is 105. 8 times 17 is 136. 105 plus 136. We're still working in 40s, so keep that. Don't forget to write it down. Gives you 241 over 40. We started in mixed fractions, so your final answer is going to be in mixed fractions. Now, this is 6 and 1 40th. This was not a word problem, so there's no requirement for a sentence. Turn the page. Okay, here we go again. You're on your own. Pause the recording and do this question. Okay, so improper to mixed, sorry, mixed improper, 31 over 6 plus 5 over 2. My lowest common multiple of 6 and 2 by cross multiplying is going to be 6 times 2. It's not the lowest one, but it's the one we're going to use. It's 12. 31 times 2 is 62. 6 times 5 is 30. 62 
plus 30 all over 12. 62 plus 30 is 92. And of course, now put it back into mixed form. And this one also reduces. So it's 7 and 2 thirds. So your answer is 7 and 2 thirds for your sum. If you have any questions, go back over the video, watch it again, try the questions again. If you're reviewing for a quiz, you should be able to do every one of these questions without having to look at the answer, and you should be able to get them correct with every step in place. So go on to the assignments. If you have any questions, come and talk to me in school.